What if I told you you could get unlimited high quality images and videos for free, perfect for your projects or social media content? Let's face it, the struggle to find the perfect visuals without breaking the bank is real. Stock images, stock videos can get really expensive and AI images don't always hit the mark. In today's video, we're gonna walk through a make.com scenario where you can automatically retrieve stunning images and videos all for free using Pexels. Now this video is not sponsored. It's simple, efficient, and perfect for anyone who's looking to streamline their content workflow. So if you're ready to save time and money and get your creativity flowing, then grab your coffee or your drink of choice and meet me at the computer. So here we are at the computer and this is a spreadsheet that's based on my dog thoughts videos. I just had ChatGPT sort of generate some more like thoughts. And in here you see an image prompt and I'm gonna use try with two different images for these videos. So this is what it is. Now um, the prompt for this, I'll have that in the description below, but here it is. You can use this if you want to try to generate your own. There you go. And um, so once we have this, we're gonna now go into make.com because all we need to do is pull images into those spaces. So we're, we just created a new scenario, that great big button on the front page. We're gonna hit tools, increment function, leave it to never, and that's okay. And I like to link this up so that we're making sure everything is aligning up properly. Um, we're gonna go to Google Sheets and we're gonna search rows. So we're gonna find that sheet we were just looking at. Now you have to make sure you have your connection. If you don't have a connection, click add, just sign in with Google as if you would sign into Google at all. So we're gonna cl click okay. I've got a couple of different ones. So you can add multiple different connections for your Google Sheets. Your spreadsheet ID, it's just, that's the one we were just looking at. That's the spreadsheet, but the sheet name, I've got a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna say W pixels, that's what I've called it, like W for width. Column range, we'll leave it here. I usually say A to Z, Z because I'm Canadian, but you'll see why in a minute. We're gonna order by number. So column A, I actually have them numbered. And we're gonna call this, that there's a number, obviously. And then we're gonna limit it to one because otherwise it'll just run through the whole um, worksheet. Go. Now we're gonna add another module. This one is going to be another um, Google Sheet because we want to now pull the, um, we're going to get a cell and that is going to be our um, prompt. So the spreadsheet ID. Now, I don't know if this is going to cut off for you, um, the right hand side, but you, you just kind of follow through and just, you know, dig into your folders to get the right spreadsheet um, for you there. This is the same as the dog thoughts one. The sheet name, make sure, especially if you have multiple sheets, might be just sheet one, but that's fine. Now the cell is going to be, so see that the image prompt is in column D. So we're going to say D, just type that in. And then we want to link it into the increment function. But we have to scroll all the way down, way past Z. So <laughs> that's why I usually limit it because there's just useless space there. Now we're going to add a module. This one's going to be the HTTP make an API request this is where the magic happens with pixels. Now, what we're going to do, we have a URL that we're going to need. It's a very specific URL. It'll be linked in the comments below. I'm just going to grab that and then copy and paste it here. Don't worry. Like I said, it's going to be in the description. Now here where it's the, that, where there was that black box, we need the value. This is the value here is the prompt. So this is what it's saying. The search query, the orientation is portrait. The per page, uh, I'll change that in a minute, but the per page, we're going to do two because I have two spots for this. But this is what it looks like. So the method is going to be get in the headers. This is where we need our API key. So we're going to go to pexels.com stroke API. If you do not have a Pexels account, right? Now you can get started. You need to sign up for a Pexels account, which is fine. It's free. So you just say, you, you know, you want to download instead of uploading, because that'll make a difference. Um, you can sign up with Google, as you would with anything else, but then you go to pexels.com stroke API, click on your key. Now, you, if you are new to this, then you're going to have to generate one, but you just put in a little bit of information here. You don't actually need a website URL. Agree to the terms of service. 
just briefly say what you want. Get ChatGPT to, to help you with that if you're stuck. But then once you're in Pexels.com API, click on your key and there you go. You're going to have your API key. So that's it. So this is the key that we're going to need to put in here. So when we get down, I've just changed it to two. When we get down to uh, the headers in the name here, we're going to have to put in um, authorization. So authorization, and then the value is going to be your key. So you just copy it from there and paste it in. And oh, you got to choose a key. My API auth key. That's, that's all it is. And then click OK. Now, what we're going to do is uh, first, we are going to run this through because we need to get data into this, um, make an API request, right? So we're going to, in order to get the data to move forward in your uh, thing, we're going to have to do this. So, so what I've done here is I've just right clicked run this module only um, because the first line it's going to go through is the header. We don't want to pull anything from there. So now we're just going to run the whole thing. And now we've got this. We can look at the results. If you look at the output, the data, it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. That's the technical term. So we're going to use something. It's going to sound scary, but it's really not. It's pretty simple. We're going to use a JSON parser and what the JSON parser will do is make all that gobbledygook make sense. Okay. So you just take, type in J as, oh, there, it's right there. JS, JSON parser. We don't have to worry about the, 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 the structure, but we're going to have to go back to this previous model and pick out the data and click. Okay. Now you can't have this transformer. So from here, whatever comes out of here, will go into JSON and JSON will make it make sense. So you can add in another module here, uh, your Google sheet to update the row with the actual URLs. So we can, you know, go through all of these motions as we normally would. So we're just going to go and pick the sheet. I really wish it was a little bit easier so that it just knew it was going to be that same sheet. You know what I mean? Like from before. So we've got sheets and videos and, uh, dog thoughts. There we go. Oh, and the sheet name, of course, we don't, we, we're just going to do the W pixels again. It's the same one. And the row number, we're going to just have to scroll down. But the thing is, is the row number is two, so all the way down, right? We're going to use that increment number. And then see, we've got all of these columns. Now we can't, we don't actually see the JSON module here yet. So what we're going to have to do is actually go back and run this. We're going to have to unlink this guy because we, we are only seeing the HTTP and not the JSON module here, right? So as far as this image URL, it's going to have to come from the JSON module. Um, so you might be better off if you didn't do that. So we're just going to do a right click and unlink this guy right here. And we're going to just run through it once so that there's actually data in the JSON module to move over. See, it won't, it doesn't like to do that. We're just going to say run anyway, because the transformer can't be the last thing. If we look here, what you can see is that there's two different uh, photos, which is exactly what we need. But you have to go buried all the way down to this SRC original. That's the actual image that we want. We want that for number one. And then we also want the same thing for number two. So if we scroll down, there's number two bundle and the SRC. And we want this original photo right there. Those are the two that we want to pull into our Google Sheet. So we can link these up again. There we go. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel. Now back to the video. Okay, now this is now that this is all linked up, we're going to scroll down. We need to put in the image URL in these columns, right? But now we can see the JSON module before. So you're probably better off just adding this after you've already run through this. So we're going to go into photos eventually. Here we go. And remember, we have to go into SRC and it's going to be this original image. So we're going to put that in both of the two URL fields. 
Now, here's the rub is that you're going to get the exact same photo twice if you just leave it like this. So the trick to get both is in between, like there's a, if you see that little space in between, we're going to put a one to get the first one. And then in here, because remember there was the one, two in the JSON. And here we'll put two. If you want a three, if you want a four, you can just rinse and repeat. So there we go. And sometimes this, and sometimes this goes a little bit glitchy. See that one? There was no errors. Everything is in there. It's just fine. It's, we'll just click OK and see that like error message kind of goes away. So now we're going to go right back to the very beginning here. Um, and we can run it through, but we've already run it through once. So let's reset this really quick. We're going to go into here. We're going to change this to after one scenario run. We just want to flush it out. Okay. Right click and then we'll just run this module only. See the output bundle is one. We're going to go back in here and change it to never. Click OK. So you just click on the module and then we'll right click and then we'll do the run this module only. The output bundle was one. So now we've just run through the header of the worksheet. Now we can just click the run once and this should update your Google Sheet, these two um, cells. So we're going to run once for that row. Boom. That was, that was really fast. So we're going to go back over here. Oh, a little flash. And you can see that the URLs are there. And what we can do as well is uh, you can just go ahead and click on these links just to see if this is what you're looking for. Now you may, now you may want to tweak some of these prompts so that if it's a little bit more specific, if it's not quite the right thing, you may need to play around with it for a little bit. We'll check the second. That's perfect. He is so adorable. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Now, obviously this is like by the front door. It wasn't quite the right, but we're pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is, this is it. And you can use your video, your images for whatever you need. Uh, and you can just keep running this through. But like I said, you may need to test it. I'm a real fan of making sure that you um, have a human in the loop just to make sure the images are good for you. You can do the same with videos as well. Now let's just rename this. I'm going to have uh, this workflow saved um, and ready for you to download in the description below. But pixels for YouTube and Instagram shorts, I'm just naming it that. We're going to pop this uh, a quick save so that I so that you have it. And that's it, your workflow done for you. And then you can just unlimit it, just keep running it. So there you have it. Now you can automate retrieving a lot of these stunning images or even videos for your creative workflows. Now, if you'd like to see a video on how you might use these in your content creation process, please leave a comment below. Let's create something really cool together. And if you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.